Hello and welcome to another episode of the Space Update. Coming up on today's show, SpaceX steals mission from SLS. Jeff Bezos is looking to bargain a second place spot as human landing system. And more space news. Let's do this. Right, we'll just kick things off with a launch update. On Thursday the 29th at 5pm UK time, we have a Long March 2D from China launching. Then up next, we've got pending weather conditions on the day. Uh, ULA's Atlas V uh, launching test number two with Starliner. Fingers crossed for this one. Um, to the International Space Station on Friday the 30th of July at 8pm UTC plus one here in the UK. So fingers crossed for that one. Also on Friday at 10pm, just a little bit later in the day, uh, we have an Ariane 5 rocket launching ESA's UTELSAT quantum satellite, which is an experimental communication satellite. Now, as you may or may not know, SpaceX won the Battle of the Giants for the Artemis human landing system for that historic moon landing in 2024. But Jeff Bezos, Amazon founder and Blue Origin founder, is massively unhappy with NASA's decision and is battling to stop SpaceX. Now, we're going to fast forward a little bit. Jeff Bezos says his company is now happy to cover the $2 billion in costs if NASA awards it as a second human landing system for future missions, primar- primarily to the moon. Um, In a letter to NASA and Administrator Bill Nelson, Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin would waive it up to $2 billion in payments in the first years of the new award. They say they will also pay for a demonstration mission should NASA give the company a HLS award like the one SpaceX received in April to develop and demonstrate a crewed lunar lander. All interesting stuff, and in a way, I do hope Jeff succeeds in becoming a second option. Some will disagree out there, uh, but what if Starship fails? What if Starship has to be put on hold for several months due to an issue? Uh, Blue Origin will be a reasonable and acceptable alternative option to travel to the lunar service and eventually Mars. That's the end goal for Elon and Jeff Bezos and NASA and many other companies out there. As always, this story is developing over the coming months and we'll bring a lot more on this very soon. All right, we've got SpaceX coming up in just a second. But uh, if you like to support what we do, head over to patreon.com forward slash total space. Gain access to our exclusive Discord community chat with special guests on the show and so much more and you can follow us over on twitter and find us over on totalspace.net that's our website enjoy the show all right so spacex uh, nasa has selected spacex's falcon heavy to launch its europa clipper mission to a potentially habitable moon of jupiter a choice that has appeared inevitable once nasa is no longer required to use the sls rocket uh, NASA announced on the 23rd of July that it awarded a launch services contract to SpaceX for the October 2024 launch of U- Europa Clipper on a Falcon Heavy rocket. The contract is valued at $178 million. Compare that to potential $1 billion rocket of SLS. Uh, it's a pretty big saving for sure. Um, the award to SpaceX was expected after Congress, uh, after the spending bill passed in December 2020. This gave the agency a flexibility to choose an alternative launch vehicle for the mission. Uh, previous years, spending bills required the use of the SLS for Europa Clipper, even as NASA requested uh, flexibility to acquire a commercial launch vehicle such as uh, SpaceX and uh, ULA or something else. Congress relented because of the potential hardware complexity issues found last year between Europa Clipper and SLS. The 2021 spending bill directed NASA to use SLS for Europa Clipper only if NASA SLS was available and if torrential load analysis has confirmed Clipper's appropriateness for SLS. But thankfully, everything opened up and SpaceX Falcon Heavy was an easy choice for SpaceX and NASA and Congress. Um, it is yet to be confirmed if any of the three boosters will be fully recovered because of the sheer amount of power required to reach Europa, um, which is up in Jupiter some 628 million kilometres away from Earth, quite far. Um, staying with SpaceX though, just moving on a little bit, uh, we've seen a lot of activity at Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. 
Booster 3 completed a successful static fire with those three centre Raptor engines. Uh, we've also seen a lot of construction with SN20, which would be the fully orbital vehicle with a fully covered uh, belly with those hexagon heat tiles, which is quite a neat design, I think. It's absolutely incredible to see the sheer speed they're building Starship. We've also seen SN20's buddy booster number four being stacked. Uh, a lot going on and many exciting tests coming in August and into September. And in other news, uh, the FAA has revised its criteria for awarding astronaut wings to those flying on commercial spacecraft such as Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic, making the requirements stricter, with one exception to uh, Wally Funk, who just uh, launched with Jeff Bezos and the winner from the bid auction and, and everything there. Um, uh, but Wally Funk well overdue her wings, and massive congratulations to her. Um, obviously, she was involved with the old uh, Mercury programs and so, so much more. Absolutely fantastic that she's got, finally got those wings. Also, uh, Russia's nuclear module is due to dock with the International Space Station on Thursday the 29th at around 2.25pm. Time may change because there's been one or two issues with that uh, module. Um, hopefully, all good for docking that one, so fingers crossed for that very soon. Now, if you'd like to watch our chat with NASA or Dawn Aerospace, click on the links on screen, and I'll catch you next week.